a reading from the letter of Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on earth, for you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ and God. When Christ your life appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. Put to death, then, the parts of you that are earthly, immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and the greed that is idolatry. Stop lying to one another, since you have taken off the old self with its practices and have put on the new self, which is being renewed for knowledge in the image of its creator. Here there is not Greek and Jew, circumcision and uncircumcision, barbarian, Scythian, slave, free. But Christ is all and in all. The Word of the Lord. Our second reading is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. We are reflecting on working for true life, for true living. In the first reading from Ecclesiastes, we are presented with really hard questions. Yes, you work and you give everything, your energy, your time, your talents to work. But then when your life ends, the fruits of your labor are enjoyed by someone, maybe even family members, who did not work for it. And then... You work hard, but as you progress in your work, you also progress in anxiety, in being tired, in losing peace of mind. And so the first reading brings us to that fundamental question. Yes, work is important, but what are you working for? What is the meaning of all this? What is the purpose of your work? What does it mean to truly live? In the second reading, St. Paul tells the Colossians that there is something fundamental, and this is true not only of work, as work, labor, but the work that we call daily life. We have to work on life itself. And St. Paul says, when you are living on this earth and working in the project called life, the project called discipleship, this is how you should work. Your heart must be set on things of heaven, where Jesus is seated at the right hand of the Father. While working here on earth, our hearts must be focused on the things above. For our life, according to St. Paul, is already hidden in Christ. That is our real life, life in Christ. And so whatever your work may be, in what we call life, the project of life, this is how we could attain or work for true living. Be a new creation in Christ. That is the basic work. Work on yourself, of course, always with God's grace and with the prayer of Jesus. Work on yourself. Sometimes we do a great work in our craft. But then how about you, your person? Are you being renewed? Are you a new creation? And so St. Paul says, put to death whatever in your nature is rooted on earth, fornication, uncleanness, passion, evil desires, the lust that is called idolatry. Stop lying to each other. Live in truth. When we die to all of these, you are working on your person. And what is the fruit? Christ is everything in you.
that is real work and that is working for true living and true life. So, my dear brothers and sisters, especially the young ones, as you excel in your respective works, let us not forget, how about you? How about your person? Are you working on it? Are you living with Christ as everything in you?